Well, before we combine all of the objects of the vehicle here and organize the UV map, let's go ahead and work on the tire down here. I think there may be a part that we need to move from the vehicle to the tire, but let's do a little bit of organizing here, at least in our scene collections. Um, I'll go ahead and hide the vehicle main here so we can only see our tires. Um, I don't think I need these right here. Let's add those to the vehicle main. I'll press M and choose vehicle main. So that hides those away there. I don't think I need these at all right now. Ultimately, we're just going to take one tire wheel combination into Unity. And as I mentioned before, Unity will do the work of creating instances of that object and put it where the four tires should be. It will then control how that rotates and moves up and down. So we're really only going to need to deal with one of these. Let's delete this and this. And then for this here, let's just turn off the mirror for these two objects, the wheel and the tire. And there we go. So now let's work on UV mapping what we have here. All right, so let's begin with the wheel. If I open up the wheels scene collection here, I can hide the tire right there. And then let's work on this. I think, however, what we probably need to do is bring in that piece that we created as part of the spring and the axle, I think that's gonna to need to be part of the wheel so it can turn and move up and down with the rest of the tire wheel combination. So I'll bring back the vehicle main here just for a moment and it's this piece right here. So if I select that, that spring wheel combination here and tab into edit mode, what let's do is let's just select this right here with the L key and let's split this out from the spring object. Let's just press the P key and choose selection. Now we can tab back into object mode and this piece now is an object all on its own. With this selected, we can now shift click the wheel and press control J. Now that adds that to the wheel object here. So if we hide the vehicle main scene collection again, there we go. All right, so now we need to UV map all of this. But there's some parts in here that we're just not going to see now that this is here. So we could do some deleting here. Maybe if we uh, went to face mode, alt click between two of these faces here and press control plus, we could begin moving up. And let's see how far we can get before we begin to bleed out onto here. So. There it is right there. So you, you can see that selection there. If I hit control minus now to move back, now that's in there. So we don't need any of this. Let's just hit X and delete faces. So we didn't need any of that. Okay, now we can UV map all of this all at once. So maybe let's tab into edit mode and take a look at our scale. Yeah, we do need to apply our scale. All right, I'll tab back into edit mode. Let's select this piece and just hit U and unwrap. And that looks pretty good. Let's do the same thing with this piece here. U and unwrap. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what about this back here? Let's just select uh, this right here. U and unwrap. Okay, now all these pieces. How are we going to select all of these pieces? Well, what we could do is just select these other parts right here and then just hit H and hide those away. Now, if we select all of these, we can hit U and unwrap, and there we go. Now, these are kind of stretched, but frankly, I think that'll be fine. I'm not going to go in and apply seams to each and every one of these. What we should have done originally before we use the array modifier on this is we should have just UV mapped one and then created the array and those UV seams would have been copied to all the subsequent ones in the array. But I think this will be just fine. I don't, I don't think that's going to be an issue. So let's press Alt H to bring everything back. And then let's select everything here and select everything over in the UV editor. Let's go to UV and average island scale, UV pack islands. 
And there we go. All right, I think that'll work. Let's hit the Z key and then go to Look Dev. And there we are. Now, one thing I do see here is this part right here, the squares are actually quite a bit bigger than the rest. And I'd like them to be the same size. Everything else looks okay. So maybe one way to do that is just to select this edge all the way around. Just alt click that and let's mark a seam here. Now what we can do is hit the L key to select this one part again, hit U and unwrap, and that breaks it into two pieces. So yeah, now you can see that those squares are a lot more similar in size to everything else. Okay, so we can select everything here, select everything over in the UV editor. Let's once again, average island scales and pack islands. There we go. That'll work. All right. So we have our UV map for the wheel. What about the tire here? Let me hit Z and go to solid viewport shading. Now the tire is a different thing. We've got a lot of these individual pieces here, right here. And I'm thinking that we could actually reduce our poly count quite a bit by creating a low poly tire and then baking this detail, this kind of high resolution information to a normal map. And instead of having all of these polygons, we would have just a texture, a normal map. And I think we could save quite a few polys doing that. I'm gonna first come over and hide the wheel now. Let's do that. Let's just look at the tire. And if we select the tire, we can see down here that the number of tries is 4,700. And the number of faces is 2,100. So 4,000 tries is actually quite a lot. And if we tab into edit mode and just select this inner part of the tire, that kind of lower poly version there, we can come down here and see that we're at just 448 faces. Or if we double that for tries, that'd be 800 or about 900 tries. So we'd go from 4,700 down to 900 tries if we just used a low poly object and baked a normal map. We'd save almost 4,000 tries, and that's not bad. That might be worth giving it a try. So what I'm gonna do is, with this selected, I'm gonna come over here into the collection and just rename this tire underscore high for the high poly tire. Then I'm gonna tab into edit mode and select just this part of the tire and I'm gonna duplicate it, Shift D and press Enter. Now I'm gonna split it out as its own object. I'll hit the P key and choose to separate by selection, and then I'll tab back into object mode. Now here's that new object right here. So let's rename this to Tire Low. There we go. So what we're gonna do is bake a normal map so that all that tire tread resolution, all that detail, is gonna be baked to a texture map that will then apply this to the low poly object. And hopefully it'll kind of trick the eye into thinking there's more polygons, there's more detail here than there actually is. So in the next video, we'll begin working on that.